I'm John Sandon. You know me as an auctioneer and as one of the experts on the Antiques Roadshow. But I'm also a trustee of the Museum of Royal Worcester. When asked to select my own favourite piece of Worcester, um, my choice is, perhaps surprisingly, a very humble teacup. It's cracked, it's lost its saucer and it even has no handle. But this sad little cup is special for the painting on the front. It's the work of Thomas Baxter, one of the greatest painters ever to work at the Worcester factory. To pre appreciate it, you have to look really, really closely. Here, see what I mean? There is a view near Bristol. That's the Clifton Gorge before they built the suspension bridge. Imagine you're in a boat sailing down the Avon there, down past Vincent's Rock, down towards Cook's Folly in the distance. The perspective is amazing. And we know where the scene is because it's titled underneath in Thomas Baxter's incredibly neat tiny handwriting. This comes from one single tea set that Baxter painted in 1819. After a few very difficult years in Swansea, he came back to Worcester, almost penniless, and to look after his family he needed work, and went to Chamberlain's factory, where he was engaged to paint souvenirs of Worcester and Malvern. And perhaps to get this job, he painted one special tea set with views from his own sketches, views of Swansea mostly, and of the Welsh borders. And this little cup comes from that one tea set. And I just love picking it up and looking at it really, really closely like I can. If you have a piece of Worcester with a nice story, the museum would love to hear from you via this website. Or better still, why not become a friend of the museum? Once the museum reopens and you can visit the museum collection regularly to see the marvellous pieces there, when you come home again, Pick up your own favourite piece and simply enjoy it like I do.